Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, you can obviously tell that I did something with this text from the last video. I just wanted to show you what I did real quick before we get started. Clicked options, configure, and then here is the font face and the size that I'm using. I'm going to try it out and see if I like it, but I just figured it'd be better for you people watching this that you'd actually be able to see what I'm typing without having to uh, have a huge computer monitor or anything else like that. So I probably should have done this like a long ago, but it's fine for now. So yeah, we'll keep it like this and we will see how it goes. So let me just fix things up real quick. Okay, so this video will be talking about using operators on strings. So specifically mathematic operators. We learned about these in previous videos. So we can actually use these on strings. Well, s sort of. Alright, so let's try it out. We can do something. This is actually known as concatenation. When we have one string and we add it with another string. And then we can print that and it gives us this value. Although the only problem is, obviously, that there is no space right here. That is because uh, we don't have a space. It just goes from right here to right here with no space. So we can fix that by either putting a space. Um, let me re get this, bring this back up. We can get a space here and then enter it. And then we have that solution. But I like to do this. What I like to do is I. I make the strings just how they are, I don't have to worry about spaces, and then occasionally I will just put an extra string in there, or an extra, yeah, an extra string with just a space. That way I don't have to worry about appending a space on my actual values. And you'll see why in a second. So what we can do with this is we can actually use variables here, which we will try now. So let's have first name. I'm just going to put my name into a database. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so we're just, sorry, my brain is like focused on my SQL for some reason. But anyways, we're going to put my name as the value for this variable, first name. And then we can have last name equal career. So now we have both of those. Print. And we can concatenate these by using first name plus last name and it will give us this value now the reason I don't like to put spaces here is because when I'm using variables well if I just put a space here it's not going to uh, do anything you'll see why in just a sec put a space there and then oh it looks exactly the same that's because white space does not matter for this so in order to do that there we would have to go and, and see, that even this isn't going to work because uh, we learned that this is just going to give us this string value. So the only way we could possibly do this is to create a string, which is uh, percent %s. And you'd have to do something funky with the percent %s thing that we taught you, that I taught you in the previous video. So this only solution to really do this is to have first name plus an empty string, I mean, we'll, we have a space within that string, and then last name. Oh, we have to, add, we have to uh, put a plus there, obviously. So now we have first name plus a space plus last name. So that is an example of what we can do. We can also do things such as multiplication. Oops, I'm a Caleb, we can go print and go first name and we can multiply that by oh let's do something crazy yeah let's see what happens when we do this so let's just go 9999 and it uh, looks like we're done <laughs> so that is what happens and you can see it's extremely slow <laughs> so yeah maybe not the best idea to go like 9999999 because that's just going to cause problems. Okay, is it done? I don't, oh, I think it's still going. Oh, goodness. All right.
The only thing that we can't really do is use subtraction and division because, I mean, how are we going to do this? Like, let's just give an example. Let's say we have the, the value uh, Caleb and we want to divide that by 5. Well, that's not practical because we can't divide that by 5. See, but when we uh, when we do something like multiply it by five, well, it knows that we're literally not we're not literally trying to take the letters of Caleb and do a mathematical equation. Python knows that we just want to show that five times. You see that? So now we have Caleb, 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 Caleb. So we can't really divide a string. Same thing. We can't really. Uh, subtract a string because that doesn't really make much sense either. Nom, nom, nom. If we wanted to subtract five from this, well, what does that even mean? <laughs> Nothing. It, do it doesn't make sense. So that's why we can use addition and multiplication. So yeah, that's how we do that. We can also do things such as creating a um, Let's say, let's think. We we can uh, create a variable. Um, let's go, yo, and give it the value of a space, and then we can like multiply that by 200, just for example, right? So what does that really do? Not much. But then we can do stuff like print. And within here, we can say, hey, dude, here are a ton of spaces. Percent S. Wow. And then outside of this, we can put a print uh, percent sign. And then we can put, yo, let me see if I can get the right number of yo O's here. One, two, three, four, five, and then we can say, oops, uh, we can uh, press enter on that, and you can say, hey dude, here are a ton of spaces, and it shows all those spaces. Wow. So uh, this is a kind of a stupid example, but we can use that for formatting certain, like for example, if we needed to indent something, 25 spaces, we could uh, basically just do that using this and then put our string within quotes and put this wherever we desire. So that's just some examples of what you can do and in the next video we'll be talking about something else. So see you around. Thank you for watching and subscribe.